Hi, Lee Yoder here with another educational video where I attempt to educate all of you out there who are interested in real estate investing, but you just don't know where to get started. Throughout this video series, I'm gonna answer the most frequently asked questions and address a lot of the fears that I hear from our investment community and those passive investors who have invested with us. So in today's video, I'm gonna answer another frequently asked question. Actually two questions, they kind of go, go together. How much can I lose if I invest as a limited partner, as a passive investor in a real estate syndication? And then the second one is, do I have to sign on a loan? The first part of the answer is, it depends. If you're a general partner, if you're an active investor, um, and if you, again, real quick, if you don't know what a limited partner is, general partner, go back to my last video where I talked all about real estate syndication and explain what general partners are and limited partners are. So to answer this question, you gotta know which role you're gonna play. If you're a general partner, you can lose a lot. You can lose any capital you've invested in the syndication and you can also lose other assets because you are signing on the loan. The bank's gonna come after your assets if, if things really go south. As a limited partner, that's not the case. As a limited partner, you do not sign on the loan. Your risk is limited to the amount that you invest into the deal. So think of this just like investing in the stock market. If you invest money into the stock market, you know, and, and, and that company goes bankrupt, you could lose all of your money that you invested, but nobody's coming after your other assets. It's the exact same way in a syndication. So now you may be thinking, okay, Lee, that's great. I can only lose the $50,000 that I invest in a syndication, but I don't wanna lose that money. How likely am I to lose my 50,000? Well, it's very unlikely that you would lose any of your investment, let alone all of it. And there's five reasons why investing in a syndication is, is very safe and as a limited partner, you have very little risk of losing your investment. Number one, when we buy an apartment building, you know the bank is gonna require us to put at least 20% down, if not 25 or 30. So on day one, we have 20 to 30% equity in the building. So we purchased a building for, for $10 million, and hey, we have a, we have a stock market crash, and you know, real estate goes down as well, and, and now our property is worth 20% less. Well, that's okay, because we already have 20% equity. So that gives us a big cushion. The second way we're protected is that apartments are valued based on profit, not comps. Everybody thinks back to the real estate crisis of 08, 09, when all houses lost tons of value. Well, go back and check the stats on how many apartment buildings uh, foreclosed. Very few, really one-tenth of the houses. And the reason is, is because they're valued based on profit. So if rent doesn't come down, if occupancy doesn't come down, the apartments don't lose value. And in a difficult time during a recession, um, that kind of gets us into number three actually, is that people always need a place to live. So even if we were to have a recession, people are still gonna need a place to live and likely even more people are gonna need to rent because when housing drops and when, when we're in tough times and people lose their job, less people can own a home, so more people are gonna rent. So we're also protected that way. Number four is actually our profit is our built-in cushion. So if we're operating an apartment building and we're expecting to make $100,000 a year for our investors to get them a 10% return, wait, let's say we're way off. Let's again, let's say we're going through a recession. Let's say things are not going well. Maybe just the management team uh, on, on your syndication deal is not doing well. And instead of making $100,000, you only make 10,000. Man, that's a big difference. And now you're getting a 1% return instead of a 10% return. That's not good, but nothing's happened to your investment. The property's still making money. So your investment is totally safe. And even if you get all the way down to zero, you're still safe. You've lost nothing. You're just not making the return on your investment that you thought you would have. And number five, the final protection against you losing any of your capital is reserves. Every syndication is gonna have a significant amount of money tucked away for a rainy day. So if things really aren't going well, you're gonna be able to draw on those reserves to keep things going along. At least, you know, you're, hey, you might not be hitting your goals, hitting your projections, but you're not losing the building, you're not losing anybody's capital. That reserves is kind of a last resort, but it's usually significant to allow you to get through that rainy day and get back to being profitable again. I hope this answers your questions about how much can you lose if you invest as a limited partner in a real estate syndication, and then also answer the question about whether or not you have to sign on a loan. Got more videos to come. We'll see you on the next one.